In the session, I am going to explain the concepts of bidding and purchase order and purchase. For that, you need to ex install the module named Purchase Management and Purchase Requisitions. Purchase Management is handling all the purchase related process and Purchase Requisition handles the bidding process. After installing both of these menu, you can have a menu called Purchase. Under that, you have these all these sub menus the procedure starts from call for bids why you need call for bids is that if you need to buy a product then you are checking the price of that product in different shops and after comparing all these prices of the product then you are getting into a decision that you need to buy the product from a from which shop if you are buying a caller mic of number 50 then you will you will require or you just going to different shops and getting the prices from different different shops and after getting all the price list then you are comparing this and finally getting into the decision that in from which shop you need to buy the call over mic for that we are creating call for bids create that is the number is T007 who is creating the call for bids? That is admin. Admin is responsible for the call for bids. Then bid selection type. You can have single uh, RFQ or multiple RFQ. I'm setting this as multiple RFQ because I need to send this request for quotation, quotation request to different supplier. That's why I am using multiple RFQ. Then multiple RFQ. Uh, then multiple RFQ per supplier that is a rare case so I am not using this uh, then going to the bid submission deadline bid submission deadline is in which day the deadline the bid should be submitted then with the bid closing date and time ordering date in which date I need and in which date I am supposed to order this product and which date I need the product these are scheduled ordering date in which date I am ordering this and in which date you I need the product Then source document if you have any you can specify it here and the picking type in which warehouse in which type you need to pick the product then which all are product that you are uh, going to buy then ice cream first one is ice cream the second one is iMac so both of these product that you are going to buy that for that I'm going to give a quotation for Alan for ice cream and iMac okay seven new because I have one more supplier Alan and autos as a stack okay the same one ice cream then iMac what I have done I am just creating quotation same product quotation to different supplier to know who will give the product more reliable and less expensive so if you have more than the suppliers you can create and create the products and everything so I am saving this with T007 you can have the view here then you can call them call them and uh, ask about the product and everything so you can view the call for bids here that is purchase order 24 and purchase order 23 for Ellen and uh, this is for SS tech these are created under, under request for quotation 23 and 24 have you seen that okay after this after this request for quotation if you have one more request for quotation you can create it from here then after this I'm closing call for bids after getting all the requirements from all shops and closing the call for bids then I need to compare the product price for per product so per product product price is given from different suppliers I can I can compare it from each supplier so I'm choosing this then in the 
second case iMac is I am confirming this from the second supplier so generate purchase order for the same okay so generating purchase order so what happens yes what happened the purchase order 26 as source tech is confirmed and the purchase order 25 from Alan is confirmed the other two has cancelled you can view the RFQ from here also view product lines you can have a view from product lines from here okay then the purchase order was created with the number of 26 and 25 you can have a view from here the 26 and 25 okay very good the purchase order is confirmed then you need to ha receive the product then you can receive it then transfer this will require the warehouse support then this transfer that will defer the quantity on hand then the receive invoice then you can have the invoice when you are receiving the invoice this number will be generated in the accounting and uh, accounting after validating if you validate this an accounting number will be generated that will be present in the accounts menu under this under the accounts menu there is supplier invoice there you can have a view of this number with this invoice you are paying this you can have a pay a full amount paying the full amount payment method is cash little bit slow that's why cash there is no difference amount because you are paying the full amount if you are paying 60 then the difference amount is 10 why that is comes because the you need to pay 70 that is 70 the requested payment then you are paying 60 that you are paying now that is 70 requested minus 60 that you are paying so the difference amount is 10 that is that is the definition the computed as the difference between the amount stated in the voucher or the invoice and the sum of the allocation of the voucher lines that means that you are paying the difference between the payment present in the voucher and the payment that you are making okay registering this that's the purchase order is confirmed and invoice is generated and paid and the warehouse everything is clear this is just how the payment and the purchase and the call for bets working in the purchase department this is really simple uh, as you have seen all the process here it's re really simple okay you have more menu that is suppliers these all these suppliers are giving products to this purchase orders so this is all about the purchase and purchase request for quotation call for bits hope you have enjoyed the session thank you very much for hearing thank you